What if schools had no playgrounds? Is a giraffe a good name for a giraffe? Can fish drown? How many different uses can you think of for this pen? And why is a banana called banana and an orange called orange? Now, in our classrooms, imagine if you were a teacher and you posed a question to the class, how would you do this effectively? How would you ensure that students don't call out? How do you know if all students are thinking about your question? And how do you engineer strategies to ensure that you give them time to think about what you've said? Now, I bring to life all these different techniques and pieces of wisdom in my new book, Guide to Questioning, drawing upon a range of research, bringing together lots of different ideas with some templates that teachers can use immediately in their classrooms. It's not an easy feat to pose lots of different questions to our young people, but how would you do it? I'll show you how.